Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we have one envelope and we have, oi, 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 an Optum Troll repack booster that we're going to open. Um, and this is quite special because um, in this uh, envelope is a proxy made card by Ron, the Ufton Troll himself. Maybe you're wondering, what is the Ufton Troll? Well, the Ufton Troll is an old school Magic the Gathering tournament that was held uh, this year in uh, November. I believe it's Friday the 5th of November and it last, lasted the entire weekend, so 5, 6 and 7. And on every day there were special events. And one of the things that Ron did, you have to know Ron is the type of person, he's a tournament organizer. When he does something, he really goes all the way. He really wanted this to be just a weekend to celebrate old school magic. And also, I should say, a pre-modern, because on Sunday they played some pre-modern. Um, and the cool thing is, one of the things he did, he made beer coupons. I mean, look at these. And these are all old school uh, players. So they're pretty well known in, uh, in the Netherlands. And it's really cool. And here we see uh, Ron himself. So you could sacrifice a beer coupon, find a beer troll, he'll gladly buy you beer. So you could just get a beer for free, which is pretty nice. And the reason I'm showing you this is because they may be in here as well. You can have a beer coupon. And, and Ron, he said, you know, if you get a beer cup coupon, you can still use it uh, next year for the tournament. But I don't wanna, you know, I wanna keep these. They're just good memories. Another beer coupon. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> look at this. Uh, just It's just so funny, you know, and, 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 and the whole weekend was just a great experience. And he actually sent me a message. He said, did you see your card? And I'm going like, what, what do you mean? He said, well, there was a card that I made um, that had your image on it, you know, as, as, uh, as being a Timmy Talks. And I was like, no, I didn't see it. And he's like, okay, I'll, I'll mail it to you. So it's actually in this letter. And I believe it was used to show one of the table numbers on the Swedish event, which was on Saturday. So Friday we did um, a Rochester draft. And on Saturday there was um, Old School Magic, Swedish rules with an open reprint. And on uh, Sunday there was the pre-modern and I think there was also a booster draft with Ice Age and a couple of other sets, really nice. I believe, okay, so envelope empty, always checking. And here we're gonna dive in to this. Yeah, so he's made, this is the famous tower. If you ever visit Leowater, you'll see it. So he's made a special, actually this logo is specially made by Douglas Schuler for Ron the Upton Troll. I'll put a link to his Instagram uh, in the description below. So if you want to see more of the Often Troll Cup and more ins and outs, you can check that out. And uh, yeah, so here it is, I believe. Da -da -da -dum. Oh, there are more cards in here. Two cards in total. So let's flip it. Oh, yep. Table 28. Look at me. I'm looking so serious. Dutch old, cools, uh, old, guilt, old school guilt streamer. Okay, let me do that again. Dutch old school guilt streamer. Thomas, a.k.a. Timmy the Sorcerer. So I was table 28. I really did not see this, uh, Ron. So thank you so much for sending it over. Really, really cool. I am honored, man. I'm really honored to be with these other guys. Be one of the tables. And also look at these sleeves. Really, really sweet. Custom made sleeves. Of course, we have the other card that's, oh yeah, of course, this is uh, Ron himself. We saw that one earlier saying, cheers, mate. Really a great guy. If, if you ever have a chance to visit the Often Troll Cup in Leowada, I cannot recommend it enough. And I would just go for the entire weekend. So thank you, man. And one of the things that I wanna open as well in this video is this repack booster pack. So what was the deal? On Friday, it was super special. He had 16 special guests. He made special cards for them as well. And um, they each played a booster draft with Legends boosters to Dark boosters and Revised boosters. We actually did live commentary of the event. I'll put a link in here as well. You're probably seeing an info card popping up right now. So if you want to check that out, you can click on there. 
Um, but as you can understand, this was a very costly event. So a lot of people couldn't afford, including myself, which is quite normal, right? Maybe couldn't afford or didn't want to uh, uh, pay that much, but still it was a unique experience to open up Legends to Dark and Revised and actually play an event with that. I mean, it's so cool. So I really understand why people went for it. Um, but in order to also organize something for all the other people that wanted to play, he did another really cool event. It was a Rochester draft with repacks with cards from 93 and 94. Uh, and these packs include a lot of reprints. So 4th edition, revised, chronicles. Um, and I believe it was 35 euros for three booster packs and you did like an open Rochester draft. So how Rochester works, you open your booster pack, you put all your cards on the table in the middle of the table. And then if it's your booster pack, you get the first pick. So instead of just passing along the booster, um, you do the picking in the open. So everybody can see what everybody's doing. Um, and yeah, that's, that's kind of a nice way of, of drafting also because you get to see which, what is in each booster, which is quite exciting. Um, yeah, and so he did it with, with these boosters. So I actually got a few so I can later play that draft because I was commentating at the time. But now I wanna open one for you guys to kind of give you an idea of what you can find inside these booster packs. So we're gonna crack it open. I have no idea what the order of these things is. Um, maybe the first, maybe this, the last one is the rare, who knows? So I'm just gonna, gonna do, just gonna pretend it's like a regular pack, right? So I'm gonna put the rare and uncommons there to the back. And let's start here with a scavenger folk. So as you can see, this is a chronicle scavenger folk. Pretty useful actually. And here a Pegasus, ah, oh, this is nice. One white and one for a one one flying with banding. We're gonna put that there. And, oh, Timmy, always oh, good. Another Tim for my Timmy collection. Love it. And there we have a Howl from Beyond. So far, this is actually a pretty decent pack to draft with. Pretty okay cards. And we've got a Hill Giant. Yoop, if you're watching, this is coming your way. And okay, there we've got a Thalit. This is one of my, like, I wouldn't say, yeah, maybe one of my favorite creatures in Fallen Empires, just because I love to just put like little class beats on cards. And I used to do that a lot with the Thalit. Pretty cool. And then we have a Dwarven Soldier, a 2-1 by Douglas Schuler. Pretty cool. And we've got a Bog Imp. Look at that, an original card from the Dark Flying. One black and one for a 1-1 one, one flyer. Art by Ron Spencer, look at that art. Those hands, and also like, I mean, this is kind of like fish bone. <laughs> okay, that's the Bog Imp. Of course, we also have the Bog Rats. It's nice to play those two together. And then we've got another Timmy. Wow, oh, it's a Timmy pack. And we've got, oh, this is nice Italian Alabaster Potion. Two white necks, and you can gain X life or prevent X damage, and it is an instant. So there was some foreign black bordered cards in here. That's pretty cool. And we've got a Thorn Thalet from Fallen Empire. And let's see, oh, this has a different color. Do you see it? Maybe this one's old because it has a different color. Or maybe this is one of those beer tokens. Yeah, it's a beer coupon. Okay, that's it. So we got a nice fresh beer coupon. We're gonna use that next year, Ron. I'm gonna get some beers. Let's see what else do we have. Ooh, Titania Song. That's actually pretty good. This is a rare, I believe, from Revised. One green and three for an enchantment that reads, all non-creature artifacts in play lose all their usual abilities and become artifact creatures with toughness and power both equal to their casting cost. If Titania Song leaves play, artifacts return to normal just before the untapped phase of the next turn. And this is actually pretty pretty serious. You know, if you play this and at some point in the game your opponent manages to like disenchant it or just get rid of it in another way, then your artifact creatures actually stay creatures until just before the untapped phase of the next turn. So it's gonna take a while. So that's one of the things I like about the song. Really nice, let's put it here. 
And the next one, we've got a black vice. Wow, pretty good. So one to cast for his artifact, and if opponent has more than four cards in hand during his or her upkeep, black vice does one damage to the opponent for each card in excess of four. Really, really good card. And there we go, we have Simbat. So this is a card from 4th edition, Sinbad, originally from the Arabian Nights expansion. You can tap it to draw a card if it's not a land discarded. Actually pretty useful, I guess, when you're drafting, right? Because you really want to make sure that you have those lands. And sometimes you play multiple colors or splash a color, and it can just be handy to try to find the right land. Last card! I, I, I'm just assuming this is just a common, because we already had like the uncommon and the rare. And, oh, an uncommon, we've got the castle. Nice, always nice to see these revised cards. When, I'm, when I see castle, I have to think of veteran bodyguard. My brother always used to play this with veteran bodyguard. Okay, so this was the booster pack. It was really nice, by the way, to kind of open these older cards. Um, this was it. If you want to know more about the Upton Troll Cup, um, have a look on the channel, because there is more. There are also games from the uh, tournament coming as well, and they also have games from the tournament a couple of years ago. So there is quite a lot of content about the Upton Troll Cup here on the channel. Um, and yeah, if you want to uh, know more about it, check out the description below. There you will find a link to uh, to their Facebook page, to the Instagram of Ron. So uh, yeah, you can start following it. And like I said, you know, if you ever have a chance of visiting the, the event, I would definitely do it. It was absolutely a blast. I would just like to thank you again, Ron, for organizing it for sending me this very, very cool card. And uh, I look forward to coming again next year. And I would also like to thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you want to support the channel and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and click that bell. And also you can like this video, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of the, uh, of the booster pack. If you like that idea, of, of repack boosters. I really liked it. Um, and you have to remember, um, you paid for the whole event. So you got the booster packs, uh, you could play in the event. So you had a whole evening arranged. And I think that was a pretty cool thing to do uh, to by Ron, also to make these boosters very, very cool. Um, and then last but not least, um, if you enjoy the content that I make, and if you wanna help me continue making it, you can do that by becoming a Patreon. And by becoming a Patreon, you can support me financially, support the channel, I should say. And it already starts with $1 a month. And how can you do that? Very simple, there's an info card popping up right now. Click on that info card, and that will take you straight to the Timmy Talks Patreon page, where you can find all the information the cool thing is if you join our Patreon, you become a member of the Timmy Talks Discord. You can talk to all the other patrons. You can talk to me if you want to. Um, you know, you can get some deck advice if you want to. You know, I'm not, uh, we always have crazy ideas anyway, but yeah, you can ask me. And you can also join uh, Timmy Talks tournaments if you'd like to. And of course, your name will be mentioned in the end scroll of Timmy Talks. Talking about the end scroll, let's go there and let's take a look at all the amazing, fantastic, wonderful channel members and patrons of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het als vinkertje somber gezien.